Cleotha Epstein was escorted into Judge Lee Coffey's courtroom Wednesday, where the 40-year-old learned it's in this courtroom where he will face a jury of his peers after the judge denied his defense team's request for a change of venue. Epstein's attorney, Junie Ganguly, says the judge's decision did not come as a complete surprise. It was expected, but we still have to try because you can't just roll over. You still have to try and get what you can. Ganguly, in a last-ditch effort, told the judge it's the court of public opinion that has him looking for a change of venue and ultimately jurors from outside the area. The defense attorney read some of the comments he said have been expressed against his client. Mr. Abson is sick. He deserves death. Nothing other than death. I hope he's prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. But the assistant DA, Paul Hagerman, argued the crime absent is accused of committing happened in Shelby County. Therefore, those here should decide his fate. I know we have a very diverse community, uh, racially, ethnically, view, uh, views, and you know everything else. So we're able to get uh, fair and impartial juries here good uh, faith in our citizens of Shelby County. Cleotha Abstin is facing a slew of charges. However, when he goes to trial for the first time April 8th, it is for the alleged rape of Alicia Franklin, an assault that happened a year before he allegedly kidnapped and killed Eliza Fletcher. The state and the defense agree both sides want a fair trial, but what's considered fair is what's up for discussion. The defense telling the court it would be difficult, if not impossible, to find an impartial jury because of mass media. But the state responding, saying the pending trial would not be the first high-profile case to be heard just through those doors. Of course, Judge Lee Coffey with the final words. Take a listen. The court would deny this motion for change of venue. I firmly believe he can and will be tried fairly by a jury in Shelby County. Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3.